As payers enter into this new era of consumer centricity, they're faced with many challenges. The industry is faced with many challenges. Obviously, the one is how do we become consumer centric in an industry that usually wasn't consumer centric. Um, medical costs are rising, operational costs are dealing with. Um, how do we diversify? Can we just really sell a health plan? Or, or would it be better if we got into the health area and worked on people staying well and keeping well? Because that actually does impact medical costs. Um, overlays are imminent because now you have health exchanges out there, you have other industries that are going to sell health plans. Um, it's a very different area um, and there are many challenges that need to be addressed. After we look at payer challenges and really understand what, how do we tackle this, what's the approach, um, I see multiple things. We look at insights. Consumer behavior is a big one, is do we really understand who they are and how to talk to them and with what? What are they interested in? Because we need to capture their attention and their interest. Uh, the second one is experiences. Are we providing the right customer experience through the many multiple touch points we give them? Um, and something to facilitate that is communications. Are we communicating them in the right way um, to the right time? Are they mobile enabled, PC enabled, phone enabled? Which is the way, which is the preference way of communicating? And engage them in health programs. Um, if we want to engage them in health programs, which, you know, maybe we'll lose weight or have nicotine uh, cessation or maybe just keep healthy. Um, do we really understand all we want about them, create that great experience and have those communication mechanisms in there? Really, we want to move to where they live, and that's in their lifestyles and where they live in health every day. Consumer centricity not only offers value in being close to the consumer, it offers value to payers. I mean, it impacts retention. Uh, when people really understand that you're out for their well being and you offer them these great services, information on health and tools, um, it certainly aids in retention. Onboarding, stop the confusion. Healthcare can be very confusing. There's a lot of words, there's a lot of buzzwords. Um, really drop the confusion, it'll help onboarding. And acquisition, uh, with the exchanges out there now, uh, who, there's gonna be so many different places people can go to, is what's the value of me going to this one payer or this payer? You know, besides a plan, what are the things they offer? A lot of it's gonna be around customer service and those engagements programs. How do you keep me healthy or how do you get me healthy? Quick steps on how to do that. Payers need to set goals, define goals, what they have, maybe look at a maturity model, where they are and, and how they want to move to where they're going and understand those gaps. Ultimately, that desired state and the readiness, what gaps do they have to get to that desired state. Uh, build out a roadmap that's very concrete over a period of years. I wouldn't go too long and I'd go one to three because literally things are going to change so much. And then really build out a concept, drive it to pilot, launch it, and then take feedback and constantly adapt a lean approach to it. Um, if you do this, you have something that's coordinated, connected, and consistent. This ties right into consumer centricity and supports that consumer in their quest for better health.